so this is a six place uh, solution. Okay, this agenda. Okay, so this is a standard template. So I'll skip this. So I begin with my background. So basically, I'm a contract computer vision and deep learning program engineer. So some of the project I did uh, includes like finding X-ray in medical images. Sorry, finding fracture in X-ray medical images. I also implement a visual slam for robotic navigation. So basically, I'm quite familiar with deep learning and build uh, deep models in my daily work. I've been in a field of computer vision for about uh, 10 to 13 years. So I have some experience with graph neural nets uh, from previous uh, competition. Okay, so summary. So basically, uh, this is the uh, model for the layout prediction. Um, okay, the, basically, uh, the key point is that I use reduce input graphs. So instead of uh, inputting a whole graph, I sample only the five hop neighborhood from the competition nodes. And I tried different models. So uh, for example, I tried the graphs uh, search. I use a four layer uh, model with a residual shortcut. I also tried the uh, GIN uh, models. And one thing I find works is a uh, graph instant normalization. I have the, okay, this paper one, I give the, uh, the, the link to paper will be next page. So basically, uh, let's say this is the uh, metric of the graph uh, feature. So here you have the node dimension. This is the number of nodes for one graph. So basically, I, I normalize uh, per dimension. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, the, 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 the rest actually quite straightforward. So uh, the op corps, you, the op code you have uh, embedding, then the node features. I basically uh, normalize uh, this one by subtracting with the mean and STD, okay, of all, all the train samples. Then okay, for the feature, configuration feature I use as it is, then I concave. So I have an early MLP. So this is your GNN. So for readout is mean plus max pooling. Okay, so for for uh layout is pairwise rank loss. Okay, but I use exponential form instead of the hinge version. Okay, and for the uh, GIN, so I still use the uh, instant norm that that uh, it's the same here okay yeah so this is the architecture as for the tau prediction uh there's no uh uh, uh neighborhood no neighborhood uh, uh sub graph so i use a whole graph okay so for this one i find that this one attention network works better okay so uh it's a standard configuration okay so this one is the least mle rank loss because we are considering a top five okay i use pytorch geometric uh to build the GNN. So uh, training take about four to six hours for one model in each collection. So I'm using a, a Quattro RTX 8000 GPU with 48 uh, gigabyte memory. So these are the reference. Now. So if, if you're interested in graph normalization, you can uh, read this paper. Okay, uh, feature selection and engineering. Okay, okay sorry. Okay, so why I choose a five hop neighborhood is that because I actually uh, study the so-called the node degree of the nodes in the graph, which means the number of neighbors. So basically, uh, most most of them has about five neighbors. I also realized that we are actually not predicted predicting the run time. We are actually predicting the relative run time. So maybe we do not need the whole graph, but just the difference of the two graphs. That's why I I decided. Okay, we just try the just at first I try just input the configuration nodes. The result is not that good. Then I I start uh, uh, also sample the nodes around the configuration graph. So these are the different hot results. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically five is enough lah. Five is enough. Okay, so um, mm -hmm. I don't have the figure here, but I think I reduce about twenty five percent. The, the details are in the documentations uh, as how 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 many uh, average number of nodes you have in the actual graph and the reduced graph. I think it's about reduction of 25%. Okay, so these are the results. Okay, I did try to use example, but I don't have time to, to improve. And explanator is actually quite difficult to train uh, uh, the GNN because the result kind of fluctuate between different hyperparameters like batch size. 
But nevertheless, uh, for, for this uh, uh, XLA default, so uh, example uh, between different architecture does improve results. Okay, then for the submission, I I using graph search for for this tree. Okay, and example for the default. Okay, and for the tau is a uh, is a GTA attention. So these are the results. Quite close. Uh, basically, uh, what I have for the uh, validate local validation and the private public are quite close. Okay, training methods. Okay, this I mentioned layout. Uh, is the candle tau so it's pair pairwise rank loss tau is top five slow down is this MLE I use a fixed learning rate 0 0.005 I did not do scheduling because I find that the number of train samples is actually not enough so instead of scheduling I I average I average the last few last ten train weights uh as the final model. This improved the results uh, over the best model. Okay, batch size, I use 32, and for each graph, I actually, I can sample 80 to 100 configurations. So I think the key point of matter is that I'm able to use a large number of configuration per subgraph. Okay, so this is how it, it looks like uh, during a train at Porsche. Okay, so uh, okay, as for grade, okay, because I'm using a uh, instant uh, norm, which is normalized per graph, I can actually use a batch accumulation. So batch size is actually not an issue for me. I can use unlimited batch size if I want. Okay, but I need to find the best batch size uh, for the training to works because the training is very sensitive to batch size. Okay, so interesting finding. Okay. This this actually improves result by graph instant normalization normalization actually improves up by zero point zero two and and without this graph instant normalization uh, not all configuration works but once I put in this it seems that any configuration will work okay uh, then, okay there's something that I did not try uh, uh, because of time attention pulling at the readout seems to improve result for some cases. Not for all cases, but for some cases. Okay, this solution is not selected because it did not improve my public LB, but it does improve for my private uh, LB. Yes. Okay, validation. Okay, so I actually take a look at the validation per sample. So we had probably have about seven graphs uh, in the validation set. The result actually fluctuate a lot. So I mean, for the unit, you can see that this actually is very low. Okay, so. Uh, Looking at this, um, what I, what I, okay, what I exploit this is that I, I think that there's going to be shake out in a private and public LB if you just consider the average score. So when I make uh, a selection for my final uh, submission, I not only consider the average score, but I also consider individual uh, score. I try to select one that don't perform that, that poor, poorly la, for any of this. Okay, the reason why I use uh, uh, an example for XLA layout is because I find that by assembly, uh, actually the worst case improve. Not necessary uh, if you assemble, all the case will improve, but the worst case improve. That is why I use example. Due to lack of time, I don't have time to try assemble for all, but I try specific example for, for the layout uh, default because I find in the validation, there are some very poor results. A simple model. So we actually can use simple smaller hop size like four hop. Okay, but you have some uh, you have better speed at the span of some uh, loss in accuracy. Basically the number of layers is just the uh, I find that number of hop last one is good enough. Uh, code review this one uh, actually everything is in the uh, readme file so I I just highlight the important thing so this is a uh, 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 so called the the the, the fold folder layout. Okay, so if you run this code, uh, you you will have the result. So the, so uh, just maybe I want to show you how the log file will look like. So if you run the code, okay, you should okay you can compare my log file. Uh, uh, if you want to do experiment, you can compare my log file the result against yours. So uh, in the log file, you have the configuration I used. 
Okay, and these are the uh, training logs. So these are probably the most important. Ones. So if you if you run my code, you should see the log file and the model. Yeah. Okay, then the submission file is uh, this this script. Yeah. So I think that that's all. So if you've got question, you can ask me.